everyone, welcome to another ARC tutorial. In this video, we're going to cover how to set up a virtual environment and then be able to load that up into your Slurm script. The reason why we're using a Python virtual environment is because sometimes you want to install a pip library, and this will allow you to install and set up your virtual environment with some pip libraries, such uh, what well, we'll be using a library called Dash uh, here, but we're going to load up our environment in our account. And then we're going to submit a job with this virtual environment that already has all the libraries um, built in already. So um, I'm logged into Stokes. You can do this also in Newton, but as you see up here, I'm logged in and I'm in my home directory. Um, so the very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna um, load up a module called um, Anaconda. This will allow us to create our Python virtual environment. And once the virtual environment is installed, we're gonna then create a virtual environment and activate it and then install our, our library Dask through pip. So you need to load the, the library, load the module first. So we're gonna load up um, Anaconda and we're gonna do that by typing in module space load. And we're gonna just type in Anaconda slash Anaconda three. And this is just gonna load up the module which will allow us to install um, some pip libraries. So I'm gonna hit this. It's going to give me just a, a little bit of information. If I want to run an environment that's already there pre-built, you can do Conda, ENV, and then you'll see the list. If you do the list, you'll see all the different environments that's there. Or you can also, if you already have one, you can do source, activate, and then that environment. We're going to pretend that we don't have an environment that we want to run, that we want to actually create our own. So we're going to now, because we've loaded Anaconda, that means we can use pip. And again, I'm not submit, I haven't submitted a job yet. I just created, uh, just loaded a module and I'm inside my account inside Stokes. So I'm going to now type in pip and I'm going to install a virtual environment. So I'm going to do pip space install and the library to set up this virtual environment is called virtual E and V for virtual environment. This will allow us to create a Python virtual environment later on. So I'm gonna press enter and it's gonna install this, um, this package for me. It's already installed for me, so, but let's just pretend that it didn't. It'll then go through the installation steps. So the next thing, now that we have virtual environment installed, we can then go type in Python three and we're gonna actually create a virtual environment. So using Python three, I'm gonna do dash M and then I'm gonna pass in V E N V for virtual environment space, the name of the virtual environment. We're creating one from scratch. So we're gonna call it, in this case, I'm gonna just call it test ENV. You can call yours whatever you like, um, but I'm gonna just call mine test ENV. I'm gonna hit enter. What this is gonna do, it's gonna take a little, a little while, but it's gonna create a virtual environment, a blank virtual environment for me called test ENV, and it's gonna be located in my home directory. So let's just give this just a couple more seconds and it's gonna create it for us. Okay, it's done creating. So if I do an LS, and hit enter. You'll see now I have a folder over here called test env. This is the folder that contains all of our test environment. And so now that we have our, our test virtual environment created, we can now um, actually activate it. So we're going to type in source and then we're going to pass in the path to our virtual environment. We see that it's in my home. So I'm going to do tilde forward slash test env. And then we're going to also pass in the, the bin and the activate. Um, uh, folder. So once I type in this and the path and make sure that you don't forget the full path so bin and activate, I'm going to press enter. It's going to activate my test environment and you can see this because it says the test environment here followed by my user account. So now we're actually inside the virtual environment so we can do whatever we like. In this case, I'm going to set it up and I'm going to install the pip library called Dask. It's one that is for distributed computing, especially for um, data analytics that's not native it's not naturally installed so i'm going to just type in pip install dask and i'm going to hit enter inside my virtual environment it's going to download dask and install it for me let's just give this a, a couple of seconds great so now dask is done installing so now i have a virtual environment if i wanted to call a python script in here I could, but we're not using this cluster for this single node and it's not made for this. We wanna actually run it in a, in a scheduled job. So next thing we're gonna do, we have this environment. Let's go ahead and get out of this environment. We're gonna deactivate it. Type in deactivate and hit enter. And you see that now test env at the bottom here is, is, is gone. It's just directly in my username. That means I'm no longer in the virtual environment. Again, if I type in ls, you'll see that we have the test environment there. 
So there's also a couple things that we need to do, uh, need to set up just as we're going to set up any other job. We're going to get into our Slurm script and we're going to actually execute a Python script. Let's go into our Python script first. I just set up something that's super easy that's using in Dask, that's using Dask library here. So I'm going to just do a VI into my example. You're going to have your own Python code to run here, but I'm going to go into my example just to see what it looks like. And you see here in the code, it's just a Python script that's um, going to be testing Dask and it's going to load up the Dask libraries that wasn't previously installed. Now we installed it in a virtual environment and then just prints high Dask. So it does nothing uh, special just in this example. It's just showing that we can load a Dask library, um, but this is the Python script that we'll be using that will be running um, in our Slurm script. So now it's time to look into our Slurm script and I've created a, a, um, a script example. Um, it's this one here that will be submitting, the Slurm script will be submitting a job that has um, this a Dask exe, um, sorry, this Dask ex.py file, it's gonna run it. So let's go inside here. So let's do a VI just to look into it, um, submit. Uh, and then this contains the information for my account and then the settings that we have for my job. I'm only going to be used in this example. I'm going to use one node. I'm going to just give one task. I'm going to say it's going to run for one minute. All it's really doing is hello world. I set a job name to be my Dask example, Dask example, Dask example for the error and the output that's there. Also in my script, I'm loading the module. In this case, I want to load Anaconda. So I'm going to load my Anaconda model in, uh, module in our script and then we're going to run the job. But in order to run our environment, that test environment, I'm going to have to add the source to activate this environment. So it's source followed by space, the path to our environment that we have in our home directory. In this case, it's my home directory. You can put it in any directory. You just want to put the full path and we're going to do the whole bin slash activate to, to make sure that this virtual environment actually gets activated, the one that we just created. And then I'm going to do an S run, Python, and then pass in the script that I want to actually run. So that it's going to run this task example. And I'm going to deactivate my virtual environment once I'm done. This isn't 100% necessary. It's not really necessary, but I just like to deactivate the virtual environment once I'm done. So our script again is going to come in, load our module, and then it's going to run the job. The job activates our test environment that we've loaded the libraries preloaded that we've created just now. And then we'll be running some Python file that needs to be inside this test environment. Again, we're using Dash, so that library. So it's going to load up this test environment, run this Python script, and then get some output. So let's see what happens when we submit this job. Go in here and I'm going to do sbatch. Uh, to per, um, to prepare my script, my Slurm script. I'm going to run this Slurm script there um, in my home directory, and it's going to run. Uh, uh, it's going to activate that test environment, and then it's going to run this Python script, which already had the library loaded. So let's go ahead and run sbatch, and let's see what happens. Okay, my job is submitted. Um, it's really going to take really quickly, a really short period of time because it's just a hello world. But if I go and I do an ls you'll see that now we have these two files here that are outputted because my job is done. Uh, we can take a look at the error. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this. Uh, so I'm gonna do a VI into, oops, I'm gonna do a VI into that error file to see if there's any errors. Thank goodness there are no errors, so we can exit here. If you did have some, oops, if we did have some errors, we'd be able to, to see, um, see something there so we can update our script. Oh, I see what happened. I typed in VI twice. So let's now take a look at the output. It should just say hello world. And there it is, or hi Dask. And this was the output from my script. So it was able to successfully load my, uh, my test environment, my virtual environment. And then it loaded the library that I already had pre-built in the um, test environment. And then it loaded the library's Dask and then it printed um, my hi Dask message. That's it. Again, we were able to create a test uh, virtual environment. This is the one that we created up here. And then we submitted a job, um, which had um, was this file here. We loaded it up, uh, loaded up this Dask Python file, loaded the test environment, ran the code, and then we were able to get the output. So this is how you would uh, set up your own test environment in case you wanted to use pip to load up some libraries and then you can run submit your job that has that test environment so then you can run your own scripts that need some kind of 
um, library that's loaded from pip. Thank you.